Hey guys, more news just dropped about The Dawning, and uh, Bungie released this new trailer. Let's take a look at it. This is The Dawning. It is a time to honor all that humanity has built and all that it will create. Now, as the year turns, the city celebrates with gifts and games. And guardians unite in the spirit of competition. It's not about the sparrow, it's about the racer. Right guardian can make a pile of junk fly like it's got wings. This was your race, Guardian. Hope you're as good on the front lines. Scouts report that the Vex have upgraded the Nexus mine with tech from the Vault of Glass. Excellent. You do the city proud, Guardian. Yeah, I really like this trailer and stuff, but uh, the real reason I'm making this video is uh, to more or less discuss strike scoring and how it could possibly be bad, so don your foil hats, everybody. Now first, let's cover the basics that we know. Strike scoring, what is it? Well, you now have a little score counter in the bottom corner of your screen, and whenever you get kills or whatnot, you get points and... Uh, the better you do, obviously, the more points you get in said strikes. And I'm sure there'll be bounties and stuff for, actually, it has been confirmed for uh, this new strike scoring system, which I'm all for, more dank loot and whatnot. And overall, I have a positive view on this whole strike scoring thing. I think it'll be a lot of fun and stuff. But let's see how it could uh, affect us negatively. Now, if you're trying to get a high score and whatnot, you're going to be trying to kill every single ad to get more points and getting double kills and streaks and stuff. So, if you end up killing more people, it's going to make the strike take longer, right? So, I don't know if it's just me or is it, or if anyone else has thought about this, but maybe Bungie introduced strike scoring because they don't like speed runs of strikes. Because, let's be honest... Strikes right now, you only get loot at the very end, so we're trying to constantly just plow through them, get past it as fast as possible, and a lot of areas, there's just tons of ads you can skip, rather just hop on your sparrow or just run straight past them and whatnot, but I wonder if Bungie is trying to move away from this and trying to force us to, like, fully experience the strikes, but this can be a good thing as well, because if this whole new system is rewarding enough, then we won't mind if the strikes take longer. But if it's not rewarding enough, then that's less drops for skeleton keys because we're not killing bosses as fast. That's just less strikes completed, so less vanguard rep even. So if we're constantly forced to try and get a higher score, we might get less loot in the long run. But again, if this whole new system is rewarding enough through the bounties and whatnot, then it might be worth it. Just keep that in mind. Now there seems to be a lot of easy ways to get more score like headshots, double kills, triple kills, super kills, like heavy ammo kills and whatnot. So all that stuff seems pretty simple, but again, we don't know the kind of scores they're asking for. And each each thing or if you're trying to complete a bounty, it might be harder on certain strikes because I know a strike like the Undying Mind has a ton of majors in it. And they don't really behave like majors, like they don't really have a ton of health, yet they still are called majors. So you might get more points from killing those guys. So the Undying Mind might be a very easy strike to do this with, I don't know. But yeah, I just hope this new strike scoring thing will be pretty fun. And uh, hopefully, perhaps, we might see it in Destiny 2 if the community likes it enough. And uh, I'm pretty sure Bungie would put it in at that point. 
And I hope that this will be something that we can not only enjoy now and in this destiny, but perhaps forever if it goes out okay and we all seem to like it. So yeah, I think they'll do it for me in this video. Let's get some hype in the comment section because this all comes out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to give you guys a lot of new content. I'll do a video on pretty much just the daily box openings as well if you guys want to see that. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. And this has been Crazy Night Hero. And I'll see you later or very soon actually in the dawning opening video. So, uh, bye. Invincible.